Alright, so I'm going to make the next four reviews, which would have been a theme month if I were actually shooting these on schedule, all be part of a specific science fiction franchise. Given that this is July, hopefully I have this edited by then, and July did happen to have too many Tuesdays in it, I'm going to instead, this week, do an editorial related to the genre of science fiction. And by the way, I'm sorry about the dog shuffling over there in the background. Do you want the lack of background noise, or do you want me to vary up my locations? You can't have it both ways. So with that said, can we morally judge aliens? It's an interesting question, and I think it deserves discussion. On one hand, it would seem obvious that you can. On one hand, it would seem obvious that you can. After all, aliens are beings who are either believed to have, or assumed to have for utilitarian purposes, free will, and if considered sapient, ought to be thought responsible for their own actions. On the other hand, though, some would regard it as equally evident that we can't. After all, aliens are going to be so completely different than us, how dare we presume to judge them by our standards? They'll have a completely different psychology, biology, and culture, and therefore a completely different morality if they have any at all. Thus, it's foolish and anthropocentric to judge them by our standards. Before I answer this question, I'd like to first make a few comments on related issues. Firstly, I want to avoid the trap of nebulizing alien psychology. Sure, if aliens involved in a different environment with different selective pressures, they might think differently than us. A predator might be more aggressive, a prey animal might be more distrusting, but these differences wouldn't consist of some nebulous incomprehensibility. They would be logical traits and patterns of behavior for the alien to adapt, given their environment. After all, humans don't have the morality we do by pure coincidence. As social animals, we evolve to tend not to kill each other, because, among other reasons, Allies are useful, and we don't want to be regarded as a threat by the rest of our social group. We evolved to tend not to lie, because among other reasons, if we lie too much, no one can ever trust anything we say, and we basically lose the ability to communicate with other humans at all because they don't have any basis for believing anything we say. There's also fact there are also factors like kin selection. After all, a family member has quite a bit in common with me, so if I help him survive and reproduce, that's half as well as doing it myself, because if you take, for example, my brother, I have half my genes in common with him. All of these factors together mean that though moral tendencies will differ somewhat between species, alien moral standards will not be completely incomprehensible to us. They will be logical and understandable given the organism's evolutionary history. The second thing I want to note is that there are no such things as human moral standards. The reason for that is that accepted moral norms vary vastly between cultures. A lot of aliens are based on the humans from other times and other places, and rarely do they have any specified philosophy which isn't at least somewhat plausible for a human to accept. So with that out of the way, can we morally judge an alien's actions? In order to answer that question, I'm going to talk about three moral theories and evaluate from within them. First, let's talk about moral realism. Moral realism, as defined by Wikipedia, contains two assertions. First, that moral statements like murder is wrong express propositions the same way the earth is round would. And like that statement, they are objectively true or false. The second proposition is that at least some such statements are true. The second proposition is that at least one of these statements is true. So if something, somewhere, is actually objectively morally wrong or abnormally virtuous to some degree. That's the bare minimum, though. I've never actually heard of a moral realist only thinking that there is one such proposition that's true. Most of them think that a great deal of them are. In this view, it is possible to morally judge an alien life form. Just discern the content of the moral standard and see how the alien's actions measure up. It's actually very simple to judge an alien's morality in this view. Just do it. Now, of course, you could say that we're unlikely to ever actually figure out what the moral standard consists of. But even if that's the case, you can still try your best based on what you can discern. Just like we don't have to know everything about science to know that creationism is false, we don't have to know everything about the moral standard 
to know that certain things, like annihilating the entire human race to stop the Earth from blocking your view of Venus, are wrong. So under a realist view, we can judge the morality of alien life forms. It's not bad or anthropocentric, because the moral views we're using are actually right. If, in fact, we are right about which ones happen to be true and haven't misjudged something. Now, some might argue that each species' or culture's morality, which don't exist because accepted moral norms also vary within cultures. I mean, the U.S. is more or less one culture, and yet some people think homosexuality is okay, some people think it's not, some people are pro-life, some people are pro-choice, etc. But anyways, if we pretend for a moment that there is such thing as a culture's morality, or a species' morality, and it is true in a realist sense that a member of any given species is obligated to follow its and only its own species' or culture's morality, then all you need to do is account for that in your moral judgment. Aliens still behave morally or not based on how they conform to the specific obligations they happen to be under. And all you need to know to know how well they conform to those obligations is know what those obligations actually are. And if you believe that we as humans can discern our moral obligations, you would probably say that aliens can discern theirs. The next view I want to talk about is a moral nihilist position. For the moral nihilist, moral statements do express propositions, but they are all false. Saying murder is wrong is expressing a proposition about an actual fact about reality, but it's a false proposition, just like all other claims about morality. Under this standard, it seems that in some sense we can judge an alien's morality. We will come to the conclusion, if we're right, that all of their actions are in fact morally neutral. They have no moral quality to them whatsoever. Unless you're a moral nihilist who thinks that even considering something morally neutral is improper, in which case, okay, fine, you can't judge an alien's morality. Finally, I want to consider moral relativism, which, as you might guess, holds that morality is in some fashion relative. Because I covered any version of this which actually contains objectively binding obligations in the section on moral realism, I'm going to use this section basically to address non-cognitivist views. For a non-cognitivist, moral statements are not propositions at all, thus making truth or falsehood not applicable. They are instead disguised expressions of personal taste. Just like lima beans are bad means I dislike lima beans, murder is wrong means I dislike murder. So can a person operating under this view make a moral judgment about an alien? It would seem to me that he can but it doesn't mean the same thing when he does it. A non-cognitivist calling an alien evil bears the same actual significance as saying that he and the alien prefer different pizza toppings, but he can still perfectly well do it. The relativist can say that he disagrees with the alien's actions, and in doing so, he's performing his version of a moral judgment. By the way, he's also not doing anything more than he can and does do with other humans. Now that I've discussed whether or not we can judge aliens on a moral level, it would seem that under most moral views we can, I'm going to discuss whether or not we should. My response is this. For each theory of morality, judging an alien's actions morally would seem to hold the same or nearly the same utility as judging a human's actions morally. By discerning the moral quality of a person and their actions, we might be able to know if we ought to trust them, or if we can ethically have certain relationships with them. People will differ on how useful it is to do that with humans, but it would seem that no matter what your view is, how useful it is to do that with humans and how useful it is to do that with aliens will generally match up. The one exception I can imagine is that if aliens really do have a completely different moral code, we can't assume that because they seem willing to break one part of our own moral code, they are more likely to be willing to break another part. But that's only to a limited extent a reliable assumption to make about humans either, so it only makes it somewhat less useful. And honestly, that's really not chief among the reasons that you judge someone morally. 
Now, of course, here come some moral realists and some moral relativists saying that it's somehow less bad to provide assistance to an alien who enslaves and rapes other aliens than it is to provide assistance to a human who enslaves and rapes other humans. To the relativists, I say that you're preferring the meat lovers of alien sex slavery to the pepperoni and mushroom of human sex slavery is only representative of you and others will differ. And unless you're a normative relativist, I'll address that later, you can't tell them that they're wrong. To the realists, I ask you to substantiate the idea that it is better to help aliens enslave and rape aliens than it is to help humans enslave and rape humans without, of course, being a normative relativist. If you can give me a good reason to think this way, and by the way, real politic isn't a good reason, because one, it can't differentiate between humans and aliens, except insofar as how you treat each of them will affect your reputation differently, and two, it's not actually about how one should behave in a moral sense anyway, you might have a point worth discussing, but as of now, you don't. Now, last but not least, the tolerance argument, which is the argument of a normative relativist. The tolerance argument would say that we shouldn't call other cultures evil in general, and that would include alien ones. Because after all, no culture is truly any better than any other. We happen to prefer living in a culture that doesn't wipe out entire planets full of civilians just so we can colonize them but that does not permit us to be intolerant of those who do do those things by calling them evil. There is a problem with this. I want you to think about it. According to their logic, morality is relative. Therefore, it is objectively wrong to be intolerant by calling other cultures evil. You can see how this is inconsistent. If morality is truly relative, then your statement that we shouldn't be intolerant of other cultures by judging them is equally relative. If morality is truly relative, your statement that we shouldn't be intolerant of alien cultures by judging them morally is equally relative. You may not like it when other people judge alien morality, and you may not like doing so yourself. But that's ultimately as meaningful as you preferring sausage and anchovies on thick crust with extra cheese. In conclusion, it seems that despite common assertion, one can judge alien morality and moral behavior, and that there is no special reason why one should not. It may not have the same meaning based on your meta-ethic, but in all of them, whatever you can do to humans, you can do to aliens just as well. Now about that agency. Do I call Agent Johnson? Do I call Agent Johnson? Do I say yes? Do I say yes? I'll do it. Right, uh, that's a wrap. At 8.23 in the morning after having stayed up all night. Um... I want to thank you all for uh, not flaming me over this video because I realize that there's a certain cast of people who will regard it as anthropocentric, but um, I don't care. I think my points are well argued and well reasoned, and the fact that they might tend to be unpopular doesn't really matter to me. There are lines I won't cross and unpopular opinions I hold that I'm not willing to express, but this is short of my line.